I know you didn't see it because I'm about to explain. Oh, of course I edit out. I don't want it to be uncut and like ugly. But like basically every time before I record any game, any video, I always check the audio because I remember one time I recorded a super fun video. I had literally one of, would have been one of my best videos and the audio didn't work. So now I'm traumatized. It's rainy outside. I didn't wear a jacket in school. Um, it's yellow and that sort of looks like the green behind my back. So like it's kind of chroma keying it out it doesn't matter but terry going to be reacting to game theory please come home and he's that before i'm not i have not played this game i was gonna but i decided not to um i'm kind of saving my money for security breach i i because i don't want to buy anything um but uh let's just get right into the video I, I, I don't really understand the story of app andy's apple farm so i guess this is gonna explain it let's just get right into it also, I got chicken. Uh-huh. You're welcome. Mm. There's a face. Internet, welcome to Game Theory, the show that takes a look at the in I caught that. I don't want to keep pausing it. See, there's like these little Easter eggs, if you don't know what they add in their videos. All right, little jokes editors add. I saw that 420 joke. You're not slick. You're, you're not slick. Come on, editor. You're not slick. Case in point today, Andy's Apple Farm. An indie horror game released in August and designed by, their words not mine, aspiring developer M36 mm. Games. On that note, it's time to take that aspiring off your game jolt bio there, M36. Because Andy's Apple Farm is fantastic. It's got mm -hmm. old school 80s style graphics, charming character designs, and a lore that's hidden in one of the coolest and most unique ways yet. It requires you to lose. By purposely Ooh. failing playing things out of order and ultimately trying to break the game you unlock new clues that draw you deeper and deeper into this horror show you know what they say a mystery a day keeps the fnaf episodes away and andy is a bushel full of questions so let's take a trip on over to the apple farm to see if we could solve one of my favorite horror mysteries of 2021 when you first boot up the game you're given a choice between high graphics and low graphics as tempting as it might be let me tell you right now pick the low quality graphics trust me on this one. Oh my gosh you bought so slow. I think the graphics are too high fidelity for us, Matt. We're experiencing extreme slowdown because the graphics are too high quality. Once you've selected your option, it's revealed to us that we're playing as a beta tester for Eastwood Games. Hello. Okay. Uh, this is Eastwood. Thomas Hi. Eastwood. Welcome to the beta Thomas. Of Andy's Apple Farm. As a beta tester, nice. your goal is to find bugs and glitches. Whoa. Okay. Glitches, you say? In an indie Whoa. horror game, who could have foreseen it? In game, we take mm. on the role of Andy the Apple, a cute yeah. little guy who had the keys to his house stolen oh. by his oh, old friends. Poor Before guy. they give him back, though, the friends challenge him to four separate Ooh. mini games. Klaus the Clock wants you to play I Spy. Melody the Moon wants you to play Friday Night Funk. And Felix mm. the Fish needs you to catch three fish, which seems like a weird thing for a fish to ask you to do. And Margaret the Unrecognizable mm. Animal wants you to sort fruit. Yeah, probably the biggest mystery of this game is that's like a bulldog some sort of like dog That's mutt thing. Margaret the mutt, the, the dog. What can I say? She was giving me some strong bulldog vibes. Mm -hmm. and after doing some digging, though, apparently she's supposed to be a uh, mole. Mm. Nope, not buying it. Anyway, that's not really the uh -oh. mystery we're interested in because even before you start these mini games, things begin to fall apart. We see both Ooh. Andy and Felix's faces in audio distort, text gets stuck behind the background assets, and once you play the mini games, some cryptic text appears on screen. She's not gone, she's still here. She wants you Ooh. to free us, please free us and then the game crashes boy thomas you were not kidding when you said that there'd be glitches yeah. i am earning every bit of that minimum wage that you're paying me if yeah you man all the issues and play all the mini games and collect all the bonus stickers you're told your keys are in the barn where you meet the final character peter the pumpkin play with him a final round of tag and get this what what is going Whoa. on okay yeah, whatever. Evil monstrosities in the bar and sure. One final jump scare and boom, you're at the end. That's it. 20 minutes of gameplay, five very 
Best game. Best game ever. Oh. What sort of pleb doesn't care about the lore? No, Loser. Pat needs to know what's going on in this thing. Exactly. Once you start digging into it, secrets are everywhere. So mm. what on earth is this story and what's going on with that monster with the eyes? That, my friends, is what we aim to solve. Sounds great. Let's play. Okay. The first major hit we get is during Felix's fishing mini game. Normally, you play this one first and nothing really happens. Your eyes just sort of glitch out a bit. You know, some spooky's happening when your eyes start melting. A minute or two later, the game will start to have real problems and crash, ultimately giving you this message right before it does. Quote, he drowned that day at the bottom of the lake. She didn't save him. It's oh. not her fault. Doesn't oh. make a lot of sense on its own, but wait, if you play the same mini game after one or two of the others, suddenly you get yourself a new ending. This time, you get some new pixels appearing in the bottom left of the screen. Mm. Those aren't just any pixels, friends. It's a body. The body of a dead child. Hold on here. Glitches, hidden lore, mm. and dead children. Did, did we just get a bingo? Did we just <laughs> know that this is a child's body thanks to a police report that we received when hooking the body and bringing it towards the surface. A search is underway for a child who fell off a rowboat and never resurfaced Thursday evening. The victim, a 10-year-old male, and his sister fell off a rowboat late at night. The girl returned home safely, however, the young boy has not been found as of yet. Our 10-year-old didn't just fall out of the boat, he drowned leaving us to pick up his body from the bottom of the lake. Now, this is normally where I- Hey, I hate the water. Did I ever tell- I, of course I didn't tell you. Why am I even- I almost drowned once. Or I kind of did drown, but I wasn't unconscious. It was like, I was being saved, but like, I kind of gave up. I don't understand why I gave up. That was a pretty bad experience. <laughs> Just move on to the next big puzzle, but Andy's apple farm is different. There's even more hidden in this first mm. mini game. We've already mentioned that the order in which you play the games can reveal different secrets, but the secrets you unlock are also dependent on how you play those mini games. In the case of this first fishing mini game, if instead of lifting the body, you drag the body across the seafloor, the game freaks out and gives you this code. Using a substitution cipher, we see that it says, "But it wasn't her fault. We weren't alone that night. Oh. I don't blame her." Which is followed by a visual of a girl in a boat with a silhouetted figure appearing behind her. In fact, we can actually see this girl in the aftermath of this tragedy. Since this is an 8-bit style game, if we smash our bodies against every happens. At the bottom left of the picnic area in the overworld is a gap which leads to a girl crying in the boat after the incident. She gives us lines like, I didn't mean to. What are mom and dad going to think? I'm sorry, Lewis. Followed by a reversed message in hexadecimal over an image of a boy, which translates to Lewis. So clearly, Lewis is our 10 year old victim but the scary part is that it appears this girl his sister was the one that pushed him oh why else would she be saying i didn't mean to it also seems like the shadowy figure was the one that drove her to do it now that alone is a pretty horrifying story but we're just getting started the next part of the story unfolds yeah. during margaret the moles mini game by Ugh. taking your cursor out of bounds during this shut up margaret he hate you that translates to the name cameron and a family christmas photo dated uh -huh. 1981 notice the hair and sweater color here, the two children match Lewis and his sister's sprites. If you continue the minigame but keep tapping the space bar near the end, Margaret's face distorts oh. and we're suddenly shown a new scene featuring two characters who, based on the body and hair color, appear to be the mother Cameron and their father Thomas from the Christmas photo. In discussing the boat incident, Thomas appears to be quite upset, convinced that his daughter's to blame, but the mother defends her and tells Thomas to get out. Now, if Margaret's is the first minigame you play, then once you've beaten it, you head on over and get this new cryptic message the time was supposed to be happy but she could feel her skin peeling off which is creepy and gross and i don't like it mostly because it doesn't connect into anything that we've talked about okay. yet but don't worry it will something else though is oh. why does the name thomas feel so familiar oh wait at the start of the game he's the creator thomas mm. eastwood by playing melody's music minigame second or third we're teleported to a forest covered in snow where we find a car and hear this audio hey kim you want to see this she seems busy. Anyways, I've been experimenting with a lot of cool technology recently. A lot of the video games I've been putting together haven't really been accepted by a lot of the publishers. I am doing something really cool with this next one. It has something called a cinema screen type monitor, so I feel like it would be more immersive like movies. I've uh, also been thinking about some other types of technology to make the characters a bit more lifelike. A struggling indie game developer on their mm. final home. Why does that sound so familiar? Anyway, he initially <laughs> tries to talk to someone named Cam. 
I always think about this. Who thinks of this? Like, not even just a story. Who thinks, oh, I'm gonna turn... Like, maybe the mouse on accident. But, like, space bar, space bar, space... Like, maybe you're skipping through. I seem like the people who, like, get all these secrets... A lot of trial and error. Like, you gotta try everything. Which is probably short for Cameron, the name that we talked about earlier. Uh -huh. This failure has caused him to look into new technology that makes his games more lifelike. We've all hmm. done this rodeo a couple times. Sounds like someone is gonna be shoving some dead souls into his video game. But again, that's not all. Coming back and playing Melody's minigame a second time, you'll find a prompt where you can listen through the window of a house. Inside is Cameron consoling her daughter, who's upset that both her dad and Lewis aren't around for Christmas. It's important to note that the mother addressed the daughter as Isabella, which would explain the stocking in the background with the letter I on it. Mm. There's also a stocking for K, most likely for Cameron. What about A? The third one with the letter A. Hmm. Well, oh. no time to figure that one out because after the Andy? plays, the house is burned to the ground oh. while screaming is heard inside, implying that both Isabella and Cameron died inside of a house fire. That also explains the quote that we talked about earlier about skin peeling off during a happy time. Burning to death at Christmas. I've heard of chestnuts roasting over an open fire, but uh, this is getting pretty extreme anyway the final game is people I spy burning with over clock. an open fire <laughs> don't like this Arthur, oh first and only name in the game beginning with the letter a hmm. we actually learned that after being oh she's out, cheating Thomas asked arthur to keep an eye on his family but also seems to have suspicions that arthur's now having an affair i suppose Ooh. they're ex-friends now or should i say axe friends <laughs> considering the next cutscene we can oh. lock is where we see thomas using an axe to Hack his friend to pieces. Oh. Thomas then looks down at his bloody hands and screams, What have I done? All right, so we yeah. have a tragic boat accident, a deadly house fire, a murderous game developer, and a mysterious shadow that seems to be pulling the strings. But how does it all fit together? Mm -hmm. Over that, we need to play our final game of tag against Peter the Pumpkin. If you let Peter win the initial game, we see what is, in my estimation, the scariest image coming out of Andy's apple farm. A dark figure looming in a room with text appearing below the image. I can see it. It's been following me i think it's watching me but it doesn't have eyes hey that shadow looks kind of familiar doesn't it wonder if it likes boating if instead you win the first game you get a different message i just wanted to see my family again i knew what i was doing was risky i didn't want it to turn out this way free us save us help us the next game is nearly impossible to win but it can be done doing it gives you a cipher that translates to thomas don't ask for help nobody can save you now we then get the oh. garage scene with a dark entity and thomas falling to pieces it's worth noting that as he turns to pieces they turn red and we see the eyes of Andy the apple appear. He's we Andy. Walk across the screen to finally find Andy's missing key with text appearing that says I should have known what I got myself into. It's my fault. You on the other side, you can help me. Save me. Save us. So there you have it. Pretty much the full slate of secrets coming from Andy's apple farm. Now let's go mm. them together because clearly there's still a number of other clues and loose threads that we have to talk uh -huh. about. First, the house fire. Who started it? Thomas accuses Arthur of doing it during the act scene, but I don't think that's true. True. Instead, I think it's Thomas who started the fire. Mm -hmm. Andy the apple appears to be Thomas trapped inside the game. Klaus the clock, meanwhile, is the stand-in for Arthur. Before the cutscene in the woods where we see Thomas kill Arthur, we actually see Thomas's car at the burned house for Klaus's arrival, implying that Thomas was there to start the fire and then Dang. Arthur arrived after the fact. But all of this raises the question then, why would Thomas accuse Arthur of killing his family if he did it himself? Well, the reason lies in another area of the game that we Brain control. Mind control. Mind Control. Game's loading screen. Even when you boot up the game for the first time, there's already a second save file that's loaded up. And hey, they've got themselves game badges, not just the four that we're limited to unlocking. So hopefully there's some answers in this other save file. Is this, is this real? Did, did my PC really die? Nope, past Matt Pat, it did not. And if you're a lore Good. hunting expert like me, you too will have probably noticed not just the creepy face hidden there in the blue, but also the QR code on the screen, which means that ooh, this just ooh, became an ooh, ARG. Ooh, Bingo, ooh, definitely ooh, ooh, ah, this time. Ah, ah, What's strange though is that ah, the QR code just takes you back to the game's itch.io page, oh. which you would have been to anyway to download this thing in the first place, yeah. which means there's more to this page than it first seems. Browsing the page line by line, mm -hmm. I noticed this little exclamation point here was hyperlinked. So I 
clicked it and found a YouTube page by someone called Logan Eastwood, the great nephew of Thomas Eastwood. This guy only has three videos, mainly just playing this old game that he found at his great uncle's house. But it's the latest video that's the most interesting. Titled Andy's Apple Farm Secret, this video shows us a brand new cutscene from the game. One where Thomas looks at an axe and argues with a voice inside his head saying, I don't want to kill him. I don't want to kill anybody. And the voice responding, when did I give you a choice? I suppose you could say Thomas here is a, uh, wait for it, reluctant follower. Get it? It's, 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 but, um, thing, you know, gl glitch trap possessing Fanny and all that. Look, I, I, it's not like I'm seeking this stuff out. It just comes to me, okay? Anyway, all of it seems to be tied back to this guy. I, I don't have a in crash. The in I do. House at the end of the game, it keeps possessing people and causing them to kill others. But Who why, is? Why is the goal? Well, I think that it's getting stronger. Think about it this way. We see the entity for the first time in the boat with Isabella, but at that point in the story, it has no facial features. Moving forward yes. in the timeline, though, we see this entity again in Thomas's bedroom, and it still has no eyes. They explicitly tell us it has no eyes, but now it has a mouth. By the end of the game, once everyone else has died, we see it has many eyes and a massive form, capable of killing Thomas. It's been getting stronger with each death. But Thomas wasn't completely I don't like destroyed. this. We saw him transform this into creepy. Andy the Apple. He even addresses us directly, asking the player to save us. Mm -hmm. Plural. He's not the only one trapped inside this thing. Klaus is Arthur. Margaret is Cameron. Mm. Melody unlocks the events leading to Isabella's Christmas Eve scene. And Felix is fishing for Lewis's dead body. These characters, these dead characters, have had their spirits put into the game. Why? For well, why? Thomas was messing with technology to make his characters more lifelike. And when his son died, Thomas was desperate to be with his son and bring the family back together again and so the entity saw this as an opportunity thomas essentially made a deal with the devil to keep his oh. family together. as we see him say i should have known what i got myself into yeah. i just wanted to see my family again i knew what i was doing was risky and like the devil often does he fulfills the promises but there's a catch his family does indeed get to be together again but not in the real world instead stuck inside a video game Except there is a wrinkle here. Isabella oh. didn't die in the house fire. Unlike every other character, she doesn't get a death date screen in the barn. She is weirdly unaccounted for. And if you play Melody's minigame before all the other characters, we see the message, she's not gone, she's still here. She wants you to free us, please free us. And to put the final nail in the coffin by checking out M36's YouTube yep. page, we can find Melody's test sprite video, who we've already established as Isabella's in-game counterpart. In this video, we receive coordinates, which, when decoded from hexadecimal, translates to, she saw what you did, Thomas, which means Isabella not only survived the fire, witnessing her Ooh. mom die in the process, but Ooh. she also likely saw Thomas Ooh. in the woods. So Isabella You're dead. done! She's also Melody done. in the game? How? Yeah. Well, I think How? she's definitely gonna die at some point, just not in the story of this game. You see, M36 oh. has come out and said that they're working on a follow-up, and we've even gotten some screenshots from it, showing us two girls standing together, one in a blue shirt and the other a brunette wearing pink, exactly like the story uh -huh. of Isabella. Her story is not done. Brown hair. This other girl Don't you ever call it brunette. I'm brunette. I'm blonde. I'm blonde. I'm blonde makes it. Is brown. Only gonna play a part of it. On November 14th, M36 posted the code. You're not special. Code, have the latter half of a YouTube URL. Following it, took us to an unlisted video called "Don't Be Afraid, Sam," where a girl with a blue shirt is seen with a copy of Andy's Apple Farm. She touches it and is told, "Don't be afraid, Sam. You'll be with her again soon." I believe our next installment is gonna continue Isabella's story after she escapes the house fire. She's gonna confide in her friend Sam, and she's gonna realize that her family is stuck inside of the game. But the entity is gonna get her before she can do anything to. Free them. Sam is uh. also going to get caught up in this thing, told that she can be with her friend very soon, which in turn is going to get her killed, and she too will enter the game. In fact, I predict she's going to be one of the only unused characters that we see in M36's first sprite test video, the bee known as Bailey. So, there you have it. My predictions for Andy Apple Farm's next chapter is what I would be saying if I didn't have one final prediction bombshell to drop ooh, 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 on you. Uh, exploring yeah. that final barn on the top floor where you find images of Cameron, Arthur, and Thomas, there's also one for Lewis, but it doesn't have a death date. Instead, it just has a missing date. His body is never found. He's not I dead. Just like with uh, his sister, don't this show is that. a clue that Lewis Weird, is bro. also going to be back, but in this case, oh. it's not going to be the real Lewis. If I were to guess, it's going to be the entity using Lewis's body. A body that, what? unlike Isabella and Thomas, it won't have to fight against for control. It's going to be a doppelganger. The entity will be piloting it, and it'll be looking to kill. 
And that, my friends, is the uplifting okay. story of Andy's Apple Uplifting. Woohoo! During Christmas, while under the control of a demonic force, hoping to Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas. Isn't there a Christmas DLC that just came out? I forgot to mention that. I was gonna watch that. Uh, maybe I'll play the DLC. Maybe. Don't count on it. <laughs> Um, just got GeForce. I have GeForce, but I've never used it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm gonna finish eating my chicken and probably draw. Bye.